Shout out to my Whitney Houston poster for getting me through Haunting of Bly Manor. She's the real MVP. Hey, what is up you guys? This is Steffi, AKA In My Humble Opinion, and welcome back to another Fan Reaction Friday video. In today's video, we have finally made it. We are watching the finale episode of The Haunting of Bly Manor. This is episode nine, and the episode is entitled The Beast in the Jungle. But before we really begin, first I want to greet you guys a happy Halloween for those of you who celebrate. I'm releasing this on Halloween, so whichever way you're celebrating, hopefully you're doing it in a safe way, safe, healthy, way. I just wanted to say too, because I don't know if you guys stick around for the full video or if you leave after the reaction, but I am going to be doing a Q&A. This has been something that I have been doing for the past couple of series I've covered on the channel. I'm going to be doing a Haunting of Fly Manor Q&A. So this is your guys' opportunity to ask me questions about my thoughts on the show. It could be my thoughts regarding a specific character, a storyline, theories, anything. Like this is your chance to ask someone who also watched the show their thoughts regarding Bly Manor. So if you want to participate, ask your question with the hashtag AskIMHO underscore Bly Manor. And then you could leave your question in the comment section down below with that hashtag, or you can tweet me or DM me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm at INN underscore MHO with your question and then the hashtag so I know it's for the Q&A. And you can also email me as well. My email is contact.imho at gmail.com. Again, leave your hashtag. And I'm gonna throw this suggestion out there because some of you guys have done this in the past and I thought it was like really, really cool. You can record a voicemail message of yourself, record yourself asking the question, and then you can email it to me and then I will play your voicemail in the Q&A video so then I could hear your voice and it will feel a little bit more interactive and personal in that way. I will say though, no matter where you're submitting questions from, if it's in the comment section or through Twitter, Instagram, email, or of course, especially if it's from voicemail, please leave your name and where you're from because I like to know who you guys are and where you're watching this from. It just feels more interactive and personal in that way instead of just like an anonymous <laughs> comment from a username that's not even yours. So yeah, now let's really get into this episode. I'm so excited. My name is Hannah Grace. The year is 1987. A great year in music. I don't want to slip away. I want mm. to stay here with you. Where you gone? Oh, Hannah really loved Owen, or she really liked Owen. I, I wonder if Owen is going to make it out alive. <laughs> I looked at you and I almost forgot myself for a moment. God knows I tried not to think of you. Very hard, but I thought of you often. Oh. I always think that I would very much like to spend the rest of my days with you. Hannah and this Owen forever. Like I loved you a bit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, I can't. I can't already. This is like only like two minutes in. Damn. The what ifs and the could have been. I always think it's so sweet to hear people who are in love with someone. Like I love hearing the way they talk about that other person. You're just like... <laughs> so I feel like we're gonna get a lot of that this episode. I prefer it, yeah. This one. This day with you. I know, love. You must help me out there you must help all of us oh my here. gosh you have loved me but you need to let me go so I both know you're not so selfish to remain hidden in a memory mm, that was deep oh hannah hannah to the rescue Sarah, get inside. Now hide. oh my god hannah bitch come on we need like a showdown right now I feel like Hannah is the true lady of fucking Bly Manor, and that's on that. Oh my gosh, you know what they're choking though reminds me of? How Miles also has like a penchant for choking. Mm, I was gonna say she's gonna see her daughter in Flora. Oh shit. Uh oh. <gasps> Oh yeah, she's gonna take Flora. Oh, but Peter's gonna think that that's Rebecca in there. 
Oh wow, see, this is a fucking mess and I'm like kinda here for it. Oh, this is so good. See, this is what I wanted in episode 8, but okay, this is finale, so... <laughs> Oh, yikes! Oh my god, did Uncle Henry just die? Damn, R.I.P. Uncle Henry. Here we go, everyone's- <laughs> Everyone is gonna die! That's why all of their faces are fucking faded in the opening credits. They're like, what the shit happened? It's okay, sweetheart. You won't it. Oh my god, really, Rebecca? Go ahead, love. Let me handle this part. Oh, at least she's willing to do that. She's not gonna fucking leave her like Peter did to her. It's you! It's me! It's us! Oh my god, one of them is gonna fucking die. Jamie or Danny, one of them is gonna fucking die. <laughs> What? Tell him I love him. And the rest, well, it's just. <laughs> oh my god, what is happening? What? What's happening? Are the ghosts being like released? Oh god, I'm waiting for it. Where the fuck is Viola? Okay, why don't we like get the fuck out of this goddamn lake? Okay, let's not do this right now. Can't we get out of the lake? Invited Viola into herself. Oh. Will be accepted. Oh. The spell that Viola had cast over Bly was broken. Flora. And all of the spirits trapped in her gravity were released. Uncle Henry. It's Whoa. Where's Hannah? Oh my god, are they gonna all show them like where everyone is? <laughs> oh well, this was like resolved rather quickly. Oh my god, so like Danny and Viola are in Danny's body now? Oh, very well, in fact. Okay, this was resolved so quickly. What the hell? We still have like 40, like 36 more minutes. Will you teach me how to say pouches onto things? If you like. Ooh. <laughs> Cause I'm your real dad. <laughs> After the housekeeper's body was taken from the well, someone in the village said that the cook rode with her all the way to the coroner. And oh. then You got done up here. You're distracted. Sorry? I hope you Oh my god, this is so sad. Yikes. JB and Danny R.I.P. <laughs> Oh my god, so like, what is she gonna do to release Viola? Or Danny has to die? I don't know. She's waiting. At some point. She's gonna take me. Oh my god, is she gonna have to drown herself in the lake? Do a company. Why are you waiting for your beast in the jungle? <laughs> oh, episode title. Will you visit us? Depends on where you're going. Uh, America, I think. Oh lord, just get yeah. out before 2016. <laughs> a little while, at least. Anyway. Flora is narrating this story. That's how they got her to America. Oh. Right, Puffins? oh my god, she's not gonna be able to leave. She's gonna be trapped at the house. Oh. Oh my god, okay, I was like, <gasps> I'm so scared for this. I am scared for this. This is not gonna long. end no, well. Snow sounds nice. I just I don't think you should plan, you know, Christmas. Is it ways away? One day at a time. Oh my god. I know. I mean, she I'm knows. Just... Fucking Danny knows what she has to do. Just Danny knows she's gonna die. Oh god. <laughs> the day is turn to months. The months to move. Before the Opera knew it, a year had passed. A trip around the sun, and she was still here. Oh, she! she still oh, she's gonna get sick, or you. oh, I don't know. We've got a problem, Poppins. You see, 
I'm not sick of you. Oh my god, I'm so- this is so sad. I can't- I'm anticipating the worst. That's why I'm just like- <gasps> Yeah, it's the 80s. Go to the back. <laughs> Five years will pass. And there was peace. Oh my god, yes, Audrey Hepburn. At long last, deep within the old pair's heart. There was peace. But this is the haunting of franchise, and no one knows peace. <laughs> peace held for years, which is more than sort of <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> She's like, it's fucking time, bitch. Oh my god, I can't. This is so sad. Found it on the street. Wanted to save it. Give it in. This is like watching oh, really a car crash happen in slow yeah. motion. Well, there's your problem. Your roots. <gasps> oh my god! Danny, why is there a thing? You're my best friend. And I love my life. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> And I know we can't technically get married, but I also don't <laughs> because need homophobia. We can wear the rings and we'll know. Oh my okay. gosh! And that's enough for me. If it's enough for you, then I can that's enough for me. <laughs> oh my god! Oh! <laughs> oh no! I'm crying, or tears. I'm welling up a little bit. <laughs> Danny looking nervous as shit is making me stressed. This is the best news. I'm so happy. Oh. oh, and this place is so beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm happy with it. We have uh, one of regulars now, which is nice. This is so I'm cute. Really well. There's something in knowing you, uh, you made a place that people like to come back to. Nice. <laughs> Unlike Blight Manor. And nothing was better than that woman's love. Diana. We haven't spoken to the kids in ages though. But hey, they are growing up and getting out into the world. Oh my god, bitch! Bro's well, got a boyfriend. She's 12. <laughs> She's 17. Oh my gosh! Gosh, wow. Three. So they're all happy? Yeah. Oh, now she knows it's time. They don't remember anything about it. What? It's been this way a while, turns out. So, well, they don't remember Anna. They don't remember so any of them. Okay, so the what the fuck? Who is the person narrating this then? All that's left is the shape of it. But I was there somehow. Danny's gonna be like, Danny's my purpose was served. I saved the children. Oh, oh, what? Oh, 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 Girl, just wow, fucking please. tell JB. We have so many more years. We'll keep an eye on it, and it'll be fine. Narrator, it was not fine. Our union is officially civil. Oh, she's dead. We'll marry again when we can. <gasps> oh my god, I can't. This is so sad. I can't. Oh my god. Danny. Oh no. Oh my god. Danny. Danny. It's okay. Holy shit, I thought she drowned herself okay. in a bathtub. I was like, like every day I feel myself fading away. This is it. This is it. This is it. I Maybe I should just accept that and no. go. No. No. Oh man, Jamie's gonna have to learn to let her go. That's what this is. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, Whitney? Whitney? <laughs> oh, this is not looking good. I think she's gonna try killing herself and then Jamie is gonna see her and then she's gonna- it's gonna be like, you need to let me go and then it's gonna just like be Jamie by herself. <laughs> 
Lupin knew the moment had come. The beast had lurked indeed in the beast that its hour had sprung. Oh, she just like left a note. Oh damn, I thought it was gonna be more dramatic. And so the gardener found herself back at Bly Manor one last time. Okay, let's see if this plays out the way I think it's gonna play out. And they're both like, fuck this place. Or did she already do it? Or Danny knows she's doing it today? Or I mean, Jamie knows she's doing it today. Wait, what the? Oh, Jamie's gonna sacrifice herself? Because you have to be open. In fact, no one would ever be taken again. Damn. And no one has been taken to this day. Damn, Danny fucking sacrificed herself. Danny's a real one. <gasps> For the rest of her days, the gardener would gaze into reflections, hoping to see her face. Her own lady in the lake. Wow, that was devastating. Gone, leaving the only trace of who she once was. In the memory of the woman who loved her most. Oh! <laughs> God, how long has she I'm been sorry. sitting there telling this story? I told you. The story wasn't exactly short. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, okay. Who are these people? Shall we? <laughs> They're like, you're a really I great storyteller. You okay? You're perfect. Perfectly split. Okay, who are you these people? Damn, I don't love them the most. That's how it should be. Oh, is this Jamie? I like you said it was a ghost story. It isn't. No? It's a love story. Same thing, really. Ooh. You shouldn't be thinking of losing each other at all. Don't let that hang over your happiness right now. One day at a time. Easy it's a funny coincidence, I suppose. My middle name is Flora. Oh my Good god, night. what the fuck? Is she like the granddaughter of Flora? Or, I, I don't know, I don't know. Who is this lady? I shall believe by Cheryl Crow starts to play. <laughs> what? Wait, who was this guy? Owen. <gasps> Wait, is that Owen? Wait, what? She's gonna see. See, this has Seems to be like Jamie. See, I fucking told you this is Jamie! Oh my gosh, you're gonna see Danny? Oh god, bitch! Damn. Oh wait. Oh, okay. Not to kill this moment, but like, I would have never thought Jamie would age to look like her, but... Oh god. Please just let her see Danny one fucking last time before the show is over. Damn. Wow, okay. Okay. Damn. Woo. I got teary-eyed. I didn't cry. I got teary-eyed. And some post-show thoughts. Wow, this may not be, well, it depends on how you interpret this. I felt like the action that they were building up to, like pretty much the entire series is building up to this moment of people who were working on the property realizing like, oh my God, these are all ghosts. Like we were building up to this moment for so long and I was genuinely shocked at how quickly they resolved that plot line. I'm pretty sure even while I was watching, I like looked at the time and was like, how many more minutes do we have of this left? Because I was just so surprised with how quickly they resolved that. But 
yes, did not expect Danny to be the person who she did essentially sacrifice herself, but she like took Viola in and they like kind of shared a life, so to speak. Nice to see that Miles survived and that Peter Quint didn't fully assume his being, his body. I will say that whole sequence when the people on the grounds were realizing like, oh, these are ghosts and all of these like things were happening. I was really surprised that Peter Quint and Rebecca and Hannah just disappeared so quickly. Like I thought maybe you would have seen a little bit more of them because we spent so much time with them throughout the entire series. And then for this like climactic moment in the, in the story for them to just like go away so suddenly, I was like, oh. Okay. I feel like majority of this finale was dedicated to Danny and Jamie's love story. Like, even though, yes, their ending was really sad, Jamie and Danny, they couldn't like spend the rest of their lives together and grow old with each other. Like, that's very devastating and sad. Like, when you think about, though, in respect to the other couples in Blind Manor, the other love stories, like, they genuinely had the best outcome, which was like, Nice, that was great. I feel like my favorite Jamie Danny moment in the finale was the proposal because like I just I didn't see it coming and I was like ah! so it was it was really really sweet. Man, I'm so sorry if you guys kept getting annoyed at me and say like oh god rah! throughout the entire episode when they were showing all of these like genuinely nice moments because I was just like at any point, at any moment, like I was just assuming this was going to just end. But love is not possession. Like literally faces of the series, love is not possession even though Jamie did try going to the lake and she tried to do the whole me you this is us thing Danny was not possessive of Jamie in that moment and she didn't let her in because I remember I think in one of the episodes they were like you have to be open you have to be open for that person to come into you and for that whole thing to work so I think the fact that Danny wasn't open to Jamie in that way that was like her letting go of Jamie and her ultimately like showing how much she loves Jamie and her being selfless in comparison to freaking Peter Quint who did that last minute switch up on Rebecca which still makes me really upset but yeah and then twist narrator ends up being Jamie this entire time. I did read some tweets and reviews online before I started filming this and someone noted that older narrator Jamie has a completely different accent than younger Jamie, which I was like, oh damn, I didn't even, I didn't even spot that. But for me, I was just thinking I would never expect older Jamie to look like that. They showed us young Jamie and then they showed us older Jamie and I would have never thought like, oh yeah, they have a resemblance. So, <laughs> And also I was reading a review and I didn't look at the credits, but apparently when they were showing young Owen, young Flora, young Miles and young Henry, I didn't think that was literally them. Like I thought that was Jamie sort of ascribing these people who she just met for the first time. They seem so familiar, like, oh, like you remind me of these people. Like I thought that's what that whole sequence was. I didn't take it as literally, oh, that's, literally Flora and that's literally Miles and Owen and Henry so I don't know how I feel about that because I guess that's how they're credited in this episode so I don't know if I'll be taking personally that as canon but yeah Jamie is the narrator and when she sat at the end and she left the door open and they were like panning out and then we saw Danny's hand <sighs> Even though I wish we could have like seen more of them together, the hand was a nice touch because we got that shot of the ring, which was really sweet. But woo, yeah, this really was more of a love story, especially this finale episode. Like it was just like first 10, 12 minutes, it was scary. And then the rest was this like Danny, Jamie love story. So yeah, it really was a love story at the end of the day. <laughs> Right, and my question for you guys is really simple. Were you satisfied with the finale of Fly Manor? Let me know in the comment section below. Yeah, I was satisfied. I think I'm just more so surprised at the pacing of the episode because again, I'm just like, wow, they really wrapped all of that up. The height of the action in the first 12 minutes of the episode and then 80% of this episode was JD and Danny, which I don't hate, but I don't know, maybe this should have been like an hour and a half. Yeah, cause like if anything, like this finale episode, it felt more like an epilogue, which I was nice to learn what happened to these people. But yeah, let me know, like were you satisfied with the finale and were all of your questions answered? I guess, you know, for me, I still have questions about like what happened to Viola's daughter, Isabel. That would have been interesting if the bride ended up being the great, great, great granddaughter of Isabel or something. So yeah, let me know, like, were you satisfied with the finale and were all your questions answered by the end? 
All right, and that's about it for this video. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please turn on the notification button down below so you know when a new video from me comes out and comment down below your thoughts on the finale. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Since this is the finale episode for the past couple of series that I've been doing on the channel, I've been doing like a Q&A. The Q&A essentially is a moment for you guys who have been watching the show to ask me my personal thoughts and opinions regarding like storylines or characters or what have you. It's just a Q&A, getting the chance to ask someone else who watched this show their thoughts on a particular topic. You can submit a question either in the comments section or you can tweet me at INN underscore MHO or DM me at INN underscore MHO on Instagram and then hashtag ask IMHO underscore Bly Manor so I know it's for the Q&A. Another thing I want to suggest that I think would be really really fun for you guys to do if you want to participate in the Q&A is if you submit a question via voicemail you can record yourself asking the question and then you can email me your voicemail so you can email me contact.imho at gmail.com just email me that voicemail and I'll play your voicemail in the video and then that way it'll be more interactive and I can hear what you guys sound like and it'll just it'll feel a little bit more personal versus me just like reading a little comment. But if you're planning on participating in the Q&A in general, leave your name and where you're from because I think it's cool to learn where people are watching the show from and where you're watching these videos from. That video, that Q&A will go out on Friday, November 6th is when that video is going to be posted. So if you want to participate in the Q&A, make sure all of your questions are submitted by Monday, November 2nd. So yeah, make sure you just like submit your questions by November 2nd. Before I let you go, I do have a podcast. It's called Diva Dailies. It's a podcast where we deconstruct divas on film and TV. If you think that'd be something you're interested in listening to, we talk about different divas and the movies and the shows that they've been on. Give us a listen. Give us a try. We're Diva Dailies wherever you listen to podcasts. So yes, as always, everything I said, which is my own personal thoughts and all my humble opinion. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.